Hello guys, and I am going to show you how to get Windows 95 on a modern day computer, like Windows Vista, like what I'm using. Okay, whoops, I only hit the tripod. Um, okay, you're going to first need to... get a Windows 95 image file. I'll put the link down there so you can get it. Um, okay. You're gonna... Okay, first you go to your drive C, which is your hard drive. Like, you go to computer and you press your hard drive. Mine's just Vista. Okay. You file... A new folder. Oh, wait. Right, yeah, right click and then new folder. And just make it. Make, just make it 95. Because we know it's 95. And then drag your Windows 95 image file in there. You're going to need WinRAR to extract it. Or it will not work. Okay. And then you need to download DOSBox here, and I need a thing. I wrote it down. How uh, to open was I five? Okay. Whoops. Now you open DOSBox. Yeah, I'll put the link down there too for the DOS box. You know. Um, okay. Oh, hold on a second for it to focus. Sorry about the blurriness. It'll go away eventually. I hope. No, it will not. It's fo it says it's focused in, but it's actually not. Okay. Oh, dang it. How was it done? It's like. What the heck is it doing? Oh my god, it's focusing on the outer part of the screen. <laughs> Look at all the stuff on there. Okay. Now, since it's working, type in mount space. Um, yeah, lowercase c, capital C, colon, reverse slash, whoops, not an E, reverse slash 95, and then you just mounted the local directory for that file, and then you do C colon, then image mount a colon and c colon w95 dot image img img now you're mounted as that now put boot space w 95.img image. Now you are getting Windows 95 open. And it works. It might. Oh, it wasn't taking a while like the last time. Up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you put your mouse on there and just click on that. Then you're using the mouse in that window from Windows 95. Yes, and this is what it's going to look like. It's just a bl black background with all your files and systems on there. Like, my computer, I guess it's not going to focus on there. Maybe. Yes. And these are the things that came with it. 
that's your drive C control panel system then start then over here I can't really see it that yeah that little monitor there that's your uh, that's your monitor that's like um adjust display like what it looks like and then this is your time it's actually telling the real time Thursday February 6 2014 8 18 p.m. if you actually exactly want to need to know how like when I was doing this and there you go anyway okay and this is what the start menu looks like it's just bland it's not really all special and crap find yeah so, programs documents settings find help and run and then shut down okay I'm gonna go to your computer when you have a disk drive put in like if you have a disk drive like CD-ROM drive it will not be on there and your floppy disk drive if you have one is older enough computer mine's just a desktop dimension 6400 wait 4600 I mean yeah I put this down here I got a new hard drive um I have a floppy disk it will not read the floppy disk it'll say not accessible um so you put it in yeah not like you. I don't know what the heck that noise is and then this be actually stuff on your well I don't know maybe no no cause I do not have that much stuff in there <laughs> Oh, well, that's stuff inside your computer, yeah. And if you have, like, flash drives in there, will not work. Not be on there. Oh, that's cool. I, it really shows you where it's going to be. I do not know how to go back. Um, maybe you click this. My computer. Oh, yeah. There, that's how you go back. Anyway. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, 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 yeah, that's right. It will not read any CD ROMs or floppy disks. I already told you that, but this reminder. Even if you have Windows 95 disks, like Windows Internet Explorer. Or Windows 95 Plus is probably, unless if that's a total like operating system or is just add on. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, um, that works. It will not connect to your internet wirelessly. You have to have a dial up. And it will not know everything that's put in there. No USB port things. No, like, anything, really. See, if you, uh, computer, I can't remember how to get there. Ah, here we go. Here's the system, Windows 95, blah, blah, blah. Man, devices here. Display adapter. That is not my real thing. I have a gaming Radeon ATI thing in there. AGP, not VGA. This is hard disk controllers. No. Wait. It's not IDE. Mine's not IDE. Mine's SATA. Keyboard. Yeah, must be. Unknown monitor. Mouse. Nope.
I'm using a used little USB mouse here. Dial up. I do not have it. Well, yes, I do. I, do, I just do not have my phone modem in there anymore. Okay. Yeah. And everything works. Oh, I forgot to show you how to get out of here. See, if you just do this. Shut down. Yes. It won't let you out. See, your mouse isn't on the actual screen. See, there's no mouse on your actual, like, screen. Not not the Windows 95. I mean, actual computer. So, you know what I do? Like, you're going to shut it down and it froze. Control, Alt, Delete. And then... I don't need to do any of that. Just press cancel, and then there's your mouse. Your mouse is back. Then you can just exit back out of there. Whoops. And it works. Sometimes when you open your Windows 95, it'll go to a like a checking screen. It'll take a while to load, but it's pretty fast checking for your drive. So, yeah. thanks for watching, and that is how you get Windows 95.